What's up guys, welcome back, Johnny here, and in today's video we are going to go over a comment, talk about it, and give some hopefully helpful information to my viewers, just like you, and to my subscriber who commented. So here we go. So, Taos Grease, about 20 hours ago, said, being new to this, I got sucked into what seems to be a pump and dump. How can they just give you one share for every four you own? How is that even legal? Seems like the insiders are fluffing with their buys. Companies that don't offer a dividend seem like a constant fairy tale. So, Taos Grease, if you're watching this, I thought I'd do a video um, that went into a little bit more detail than just giving you a comment. Okay, so here we go. Now, you made some major points here, okay? Yes. I believe that when they do a reverse stock split, they are enticing people to buy more shares. They want you to buy more shares. So I did a quick Google search, or using Microsoft Bing, I guess. Um, in a reverse stock split, the number of shares outstanding is reduced rather than increased. A regular split might express, say, a four to one, meaning that investors receive three additional shares for each one they hold, giving them four total, while a reverse split would be the exact opposite. Now, with the reverse split, I personally got into the company before it split. I believe I got in the company like around, um, um, man, I can't even really remember now. I could pull it up, but um, I got into the company before they did the reverse stock split. I had 33 shares, 33. Now, after the reverse stock split happened, then I was only left with, um, I think, 7, right? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. I had 8 shares now after the reverse stock split from 33 shares to 8 shares. Now the stock price also went um, down as a result. But I had more shares at a lower price compared to the way it was before. Now that means I actually lost a share too because they don't do fractional shares. So that 33rd share or the one I had left over after they split it uh, I got it lost. So, I mean, I think it was like $7 almost, something like that, lost. And so people can lose money that way too if you don't have the exact amount to make equal parts of four. Now, also, some of the benefits of this is to create the perception that the company stock has either increased in value or decreased in value. But what it does is it entices you as the buyer or the investor to buy more shares at a lower price to try to drive the price up. As a result, a lot of times that doesn't necessarily happen. Um, they need to get their share price up in order to not get delisted from the stock exchange, you know, so... By doing so, they're like, okay, let's drop it to $2 a share. More people will load up, buy more, and it'll drive the price up. We won't get delisted, and we could stay doing this. But that's not always the case, okay? A reverse stock split rarely works when a company is in serious trouble. Fundamental changes, including new management, growth, and other things, have to occur in order for this to be successful. And in a lot of cases, this does not happen. Now, there have been a couple cases where um, it did work out. You could Google it. Um, I did a small search earlier, and it said that I know Apple had did one recently, and Xerox did one recently, and I can't remember the other company who did one recently, but um, they are all still on the market, and it ended up working for them. Now, what is my thoughts, right? Uh, it seems like insiders are following, are fluffing their buys. You know, could be, could be. Um, but 
The last part he says, companies that don't offer a dividend seem like a constant fairy tale. You're right. You're right. And on this channel, I talk about it all the time. I talk about only investing in companies that go up in value over time. They do not gradually go down, right? Everyone's seen what happened to Ford, JC Penney. They just all gradually went down. Never recovered. Never recovered. So I only invest in companies that are gradually going up over time. Even if they go stale for a little bit, that's fine, right? And yes, they're going to kind of, if you have a lot of utility, they're going to go up and down. But I'm talking about over time. 180 day, 300, five year chart, whatever you want to use um, slowly over time. And that pay a dividend. Companies that pay a dividend are doing financially better than other companies, right? Now, there's a big difference when I say that because there are companies out there that um, do not pay a dividend and they put all their money back in to the company in a way to promote more appreciation and growth. Whereas, say, companies that I invest in, like, say, O Realty, they pay, um, I believe it's still like 27 cents or 25 cents every single month for each share to their shareholders. That is a good company. And they're going up in stock price. I used to buy it around the $50 mark. Now I believe it's like $60 or $70, um, which is amazing, right? So you're getting a dividend and you're also getting appreciation from it, right? So... Um, Yes, I agree with you. You you really should invest in companies that pay dividends. Here's a good example right here. You could earn a thousand dollars per year in dividends if you invested. You know, I mean, you'd need thirteen thousand dollars in AT and T, or you need forty seven thousand dollars in McDonald's, but you get a thousand dollars a year in dividends. And like, there's great examples here of you able to do it. So if you were able to do it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over time, you could make eight thousand dollars a year in dividends holding these companies. So great question. I appreciate that, Taos Grease. Uh, great question. Um, I also asked people on my new video here for Vine Therapeutics on August 17th how much they were in on the company because I was curious. Um, BGT TEG said that he, they bought at $9, which is crazy because this stock right now is just is like at $1.30. Um, eight minutes ago from from this video eight minutes ago, uh, Alvin Hong said, sadly to say a lot of bag holders are here, including myself. Current price is at $1.39 today, August 20th, 2021. Hope it will, hope it will goes up back. Hope it will goes back. Um, I'm, I'm guessing he's trying to say, hope it will go up or back to nine. I'm not sure. Uh, what is your forecast price for this stock? A great question. I love the feedback. I love all the the kind words and help. Um, so I think that this company has a great chance to rebound once it goes uh, into the next quarter. No, no, I'm sorry, not next quarter. The following year. So. It's not going to be one of these get rich, get quick, you know, stocks where it's going to just drive all the way up and we just hope it works out like um, Neo or, or Inovio or one of those, you know, hype company stocks. So what I really want to do is set my price target to about $9 and from $9 is a great area to start. I believe this company has potential for much, much more in the future as long as it stays on track with its research and development plans and acquiring more customers for their um, their medicine that they're creating for skin. So uh, with that said, I would like to say it would be at nine. It could take a year. It could take three years, but I'm definitely holding on to a bag. I'm holding uh, almost 200 shares at like four dollar mark um i could actually bring it up real quick just for this video i think it'd be pretty cool to show um and just show you guys where i'm at i pull it up on my computer but gosh it'll take forever to load uh so here we go vine therapeutics um it, as you guys can see here mark uh quantity 196 shares last price 
a dollar forty two my average price is four dollars and twenty three cents so I'm holding two hundred shares at four dollars and twenty cents which is insane right um, I'm down actually five hundred and forty four dollars total cost eight hundred and twenty three so I am down quite a bit on this company I'm not gonna be selling it anytime soon I'm just gonna hold on to it um, this was a speculative stock for me I put money in that only I was willing to risk and I have risked it so now at this point um, it's just a matter of either waiting and watching it go up or knowing hey you know this is what happens when you um, when you when sometimes you take these gambles on some of these speculative stocks so that's why I really encourage you to do your research make sure you you know watch tons of videos and, and, and do a ton of research fundamental analysis technical analysis a lot of things before you make a decision to buy into a company like this um, anyone can buy into like Google Apple Amazon and make money over time yes and a lot of other companies as well but when you talk about small companies like this or company startups or companies that are doing reverse stock splits it's definitely a gamble and you need to be very careful with where you put your money do not risk more than you can afford to lose that's always been the way it is and remember guys if you enjoyed this video smash the like button and if you liked it subscribe so you can get more videos just like this don't forget um, I also have a Investing for Beginners Facebook group and page. We're up 22,000 members and rapidly growing. It's amazing the power of the internet. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and go um, get in and start the or join the conversation about all things new to investing for beginners, stocks, credit, finance, real estate, and even side hustles. We talk about all things money and how you can make more money because no one likes to work harder than they have to, and your money should work hard for you. So thanks again, guys. Appreciate your support, and remember to smash that like button.